So welcome back, everyone. How many of you asked your body if it was hungry and then asked it what it actually wanted to eat and then gave it that? <laughs> How many of you asked your body what it wanted and then you gave it something different? Yeah, that happens. <laughs> you know, it's so nice to be able to see the difference between when we're feeding ourselves with flavor for emotional body reasons compared to what the physical structure actually wants. You know, when I was in Sardinia, in Italy, a few weeks ago, um, every year or 18 months we have a gathering just for the Embassy of Peace. And as you know, this was something I was guided to create by the Holy Ones in the year 2007, on the 7th of the 7th of the 7th. <laughs> and it helped us quantify all that we've been receiving our programs. So we have personal harmonization programs, global harmonization, and also universal. Because imagine if earth does come into permanent peace. What's going to look like? No more war. No more poverty. No more violence. Everybody in this energy of honor, respect. As you'll find then that we'll be more aware of the beings of light that are always with us as well. The veils of illusion will be thinner. But many they're already disappearing. And so this year when we were in Sardinia working with um, our ambassadors of peace, already met some of them in the audience here. There was this young girl again with the family, young Emma. And the mother, to help Emma's health, had put them all on raw food. Și mama, ca să ajute sănătatea pentru sănătatea Emei, a făcut o dietă de crudită pentru toată familia. And for me it was so interesting, all these young men, pentru mine era interesant, toți bărbații ăștia, so muscly, plin de mușchi, and exercising, și făceau exerciții fizice, enjoying raw food, și se bucurau de hrănăvie, all super creative. Because, as you know, when you're meditating, living this sort of lifestyle we talk about, you activate a lot of bright brain activity, you get very, very creative. And what the youngest son in the family, he came to me and he said, I just can't take much physical food anymore. I'm really leaning to this reality of being nourished by prana. And so we checked his prana percentage. And it was about 82%. So obviously his inner call is to eat light, eat less, and that was why. <laughs> because of his lifestyle and kind, compassionate heart, he was processing energy differently. But at 82%, not enough to completely stop this. And then later Emma came to me. And one of her questions in other years has been, by living purely on prana, can I kill my body of these diseases? And sometimes when people ask me for information, I get no information because this is something they have to live through themselves. 
informații, pentru că e o experiență pe care ei trebuie să trăiască. Și mereu ne spunem oamenilor, trebuie să urmezi propria chemare interioară. Dar Emma a întrebat dacă aș putea să checă o prână pe cento și să vedem ce a făcut când a făcut și ce a făcut și ce a făcut și ce a făcut. Și eu mi-a cerut să îi verific, să vedem dacă pot valida procentajul pe care și ea l-a primit. Și am verificat procentajul prana fizic și era 8-7%. Și a zâmbit la stăbărătate. Și era atât de fericită. Și a zis, oh, am zis că nu e 100%. Sunt așa de bucuroasă că nu e 100%. Și a zis, de ce? She said, "I have to admit, I really, really, really love chocolate." She was saying, "I love chocolate. It's very, 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 very good chocolate." And I thought that if my brand of percentage is 100 percent, then I have to convert, and that means no more chocolate. She was saying that if the percentage of brand is 100 percent, then I have to convert, and that means no more chocolate. She was saying that if the percentage of brand is 100 percent, then I have to convert, and that means no more chocolate. She was saying that if the percentage of brand is 100 percent, then I have to convert, and that means no more chocolate. She was saying that if the percentage of brand is 100 percent, then I have to convert, and that means no more chocolate. She was saying that if the percentage of brand is 100 percent, then I have to convert, and that means no more chocolate. She was saying that if the și am putut să-i spun că știu foarte mulți oameni pe planetă care se hrănesc din prana și și-au plăcere din ciocolată. How many of you love chocolate? Cât ori am văzut aceea ciocolată? And in Italy, it's it's intense. If you have a hot chocolate, it's like melted chocolate, so thick. Și în Italia e foarte intensă dacă bei o ciocolată caldă, e foarte densă. And I think this is part of the play of life. Și cred că e parte din piesa vieții. Not to be too rigid. So no, he fought the rigid. You know, as our bodies convert naturally, there'll always be something that the emotional body doesn't want to let go of. Pe măsură ce se transformă corpurile în mod firesc, întotdeauna va fi ceva la care corpul emoțional nu vrea să renunțe. It may be something salty. Poate să fie ceva sărat. Or it may be something sweet. Sau ceva dulce. And you hear people in these fields being very rigid. Și vei auzi oamenii în aceste zone să fiind foarte rigizi. I'm sorry, but it's always the men. Îmi pare rău, dar întotdeauna bărbații sunt rigizi. Once I convert my body, odată ce mi-am transformat, I will never eat again. Nu mai mănânc niciodată. Never drink again. Nu mai beau niciodată. And that's an interesting reality to explore. Și e o realitate interesantă de explorat. But for women, it's usually more fluid. Dar cu femeile de obicei e mai fluid. Many people have families. Mulți oameni au familii. And for many of our our women, it's like we just want freedom. Și pentru multe dintre noi femeile ne dorim doar libertate. Freedom of choice. Libertatea de a alege. And so it's nice. This is a freedom of choice. Și e frumos. Asta este o libertate de a alege. And similarly to the freedom of choice we have now regarding what movie of reality we want to exist in. Și în mod similar este și libertatea de a alege ce film al realității vrem să trăim. And as I travel the world, so many people say to me, look, all I feel now is a heart full of gratitude. Când vă lătoresc acum, oamenii îmi spun, uite, tot ce simt este o inima plină de recunoștință. And when I walk out my front door, și când ajung acasă, all I see is grace in motion. Tot ce văd este grație în mișcare. And every person I meet, fiecare om pe care îl întâlnesc, I have the most amazing experience with. Am cu el cea mai minunată experiență. It's almost as if our energy and the nation spark the ignition of the divinity within all. E aproape ca și cum emanațiile noastre de energie luminează divinitatea și emanațiile. The same with them. Și la fel și în cei. It's like the rising of this pure essence energy in everyone. E ca și cum răsarea această esență pură și energie în fiecare. It's not stimulated through words. Și nu se stimulează prin cuvinte. It's stimulated energetically through transmission. Și e stimulat energetic prin transmisie. And so people feel like, wow, this world is the kingdom of heaven. There's still cities. Oamenii se simt, wow, lumea asta chiar e împărăția cerurilor. Mai sunt orașe. None of that changes. Orașele nu se schimbă. But our perception changes. Dar percepția noastră se schimbă. And so when you're really aligned with your true nature, as you know, și când ești cu adevărat aliniat cu adevărata ta natură, sparks that in another. Asta trezește același lucru celălalt. Similarly, when there are deep currents of peace, then you might be a little unstable. La fel când ceilalți sunt într-un curent profund de pace și tu ești poate instabil, that peace they're holding and transmitting again stabilizes you. Acea pace pe care ei o mențin și o transmit te stabilizează și pe tine. 
So before we go on this afternoon, I know there are one or two of you with questions. Deci, înainte să continuăm, după masă, știu că aveați câțiva întrebări. So, yes, up there, thank you. This is my husband, Master, to speak loudly. Vorbește tare, te rog. Yesterday in the afternoon, I had a conversation with someone I know that is here present now. And the person told me, I can root my family and my children. But I do not understand what divine love means. How can I feel with divine love? This person is in the beginning of their spiritual evolution. And I asked them, do you know who you are? Most of the beginners identify with their physical body. Could you please explain us and through your prayers that we understand who we really are? Thank you. You know, as you are sharing, Of course, observations come. And divine love isn't something you can even talk about. You know, you know when you feel it. It's not something that you can even describe. <coughs> And as human beings, we're built to experience all the different levels of love. Și ca ființe umane să vom construi, să experimentăm toate nivelurile de iubire. We know romantic love. Știm iubirea romantică. We know family love. Știm iubirea față de familie. We know unconditional love with friends and animals. Iubirea necondiționată față de prieteni, animale. Yet divine love. Și totuși iubirea divină. It's almost like a gift. E aproape ca un dar. Given to us. Care ți se oferă in the right way, the right time. And, you know, recently, this year, I've been traveling more with my 40-year-old daughter. And she came with me to America, to the big Pranic festival we did there with lots of different people sharing their experiences of being nourished by Prana. And one of the things she said, as everybody in the audience said, Wow, you're all so different. We're all expressing ourselves differently. Our journey into this freedom is different. And then my daughter came with me to the Embassy of Peace Retreat in Italy. Și apoi fica mea a venit cu mine la retragere cu ambasada Păcii în Italia. Și ea nu fusese încă în Italia. So we decided to have a few days holidaying on the Amalfi Coast. Deci ne-am hotărât să avem și o mică vacanță pe coastă. And as a 40-year-old strong woman, ca o femeie în forță la 40 de ani, she wanted to do all the driving. Ea vrea să conducă singură. And as we're driving from Rome down to the coast, și pe măsură ce conduceam, There were massive bushfires everywhere. So we came into a point in our in the road where the Cabanari police are there saying roads blocked, bushfires, you can't go on. Și am ajuns într-un loc pe șosea în care era poliția care mi-a spus că e un incendiu, tu fișurile au luat foc și nu puteți trece mai departe. So we checked the map, found another road. Am verificat pe GPS, am găsit un alt drum. We drive, drive, drive. More Cabanari, Malaysia on the road. This road is blocked. You can't go on. So my daughter thought, maybe we just go back to Rome. I said, no, I promised you a holiday there. I know it's beautiful. Everything's booked. We'll find a way. 
And so we went to another hotel to see maybe if we could stay the night till the bushfires cleared. And they said, no, 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 hotel's full. But I knew we could get there. And my daughter starts to talk to this woman. And she said, there is another way. If you go back here and over there, and it was a much longer way. But we got there. And that's like our spiritual journey. You know, we go a different pathways and we're blocked. And it's like, where's the divine love? I'm not feeling it. <laughs> and you get tested, be patient. Find another way. And maybe you go another way. Because somebody else tells you, oh, if you practice this lifestyle or this siddha or this you know, Indian technique. Yeah. You go that way. And it's like, okay, you get blocked. And then you go that way. You go that way. And then you go that way. And it's like, you get blocked. Where's the divine love? Well, maybe you need a little bit more discernment. You know, to find the right way for you. And that field of energy, it's about, it's a science, it really is. You know, it's all about matching frequencies. You know, when you can match the frequency, it's like television or radio. You know, you want to listen to beautiful music. Someone tells you there's this incredible station. But you've got to tune the dial. Tune this energy system. And the Indian gurus used to say, you cannot capture grace. Grace finds you when you're ready. But I disagree. You can put yourself in the channel where grace flows the strongest. And that's lifestyle. Personal fine-tuned. And it's the same with divine love. You know, I feel that there are, are qualities we need to enter certain fields. And I watch people for 20 odd years grabbing this gift of being nourished by prana. And Maybe their prana percentage is 100%. And maybe they think they're emotionally and mentally ready. But they can't lock in. And stay locked in. And maybe it's because they just need a little more of the virtue of humility. And I wish I could give you a magical formula to access the field of infinite love. I don't know if there is a formula. But I do know it's frequency matching. You know, when a human heart is just really ready. And it doesn't hurt to have a practice for a while and just I am open to experience the purest, deepest currents of the, the love that brought creation into being, which is divine. That's why we call it divine. Și nu strică nici să faci o practică zilnică în care să cer, mi-aș dori să experimentez cu adevărat iubirea divină care creează, care e sursa întregii creației. But everyone is so unique. Dar fiecare din noi e diferit. You know, what needs to in you? Ce e nevoie să se potrivească în tine to frequency match that field. Ca să fii compatibil vibrațional cu acea vibrație. Sometimes it's just more of the virtue of patience. De multe ori este mai mult din virtutea răbdării. I notice people meditate with many agendas. You know, we meditate, we live this life because we want to be the best version selves we can be. 
Medităm, trăim spirituală de viață ca să fim cea mai bună versiune a noastră pe care o putem fi. O vrem mai multă grație în viața noastră. O vrem mai multă grație în viața noastră. And it's so nice to take time, you know, every week if you can, just to be still with no agenda. Absolute surrender. Just present with the breath. And just see what needs to come. And people often in meditation, they go, oh! My Guru said I should meditate 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night, and that's a good practice. And because you have a life to live, work, responsibilities, you might do that. But I recommend that at least one day a week you meditate without time. Just be present. And if you do the clock watching in meditation, what if you're going to frequency match in 33 minutes? But you stop after 20. And your essence goes, you're nearly there. You were this close. And you got distracted. You know, I've had experiences in meditation where my essence has just said, be patient, be patient. I knew there was something to come. But I didn't know what. You meditate for an hour. Nothing happens. Just blah, blah, blah. blah, 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 blah. Keep breathing. Meditate for another hour. You're feeling more peaceful. But no big revelation. You think, time to get up. Inner call says, be patient. You meditate for another hour. And suddenly, Patience. When's it going to happen? I don't know. What does your heart really want? You know, up to people ask for these things because someone said it's fabulous or is it what you're really ready for? When you're really ready, then these things tend to come. No formula. No words to describe. It's like the true beloved energy we're going to go into this afternoon. Is there anything else anyone else would say? Yes. Do you want to ask questions? That voice. That one. I just have one question. I'm going to ask you one question now. I have to. Nu e și ăsta un scop pentru meditație, să obții revelația asta? Isn't this having a gentle meditation? The fact of getting this revelation? Doesn't it mean to have an agenda? Ba da, ba da. See, as we experience our own journey, pe măsură ce ne experimentăm propria călătorie, remember, people like myself, we're all the same, we're not different, we're not special. Maybe we've just spent our time a little bit differently in life. You know, I've prayed, I've cried, I've begged, I've had difficult times. I've meditated a lot with specific agendas. I lived this lifestyle for many years because it was the only way that I could be a good mother. Am trăit foarte mulți ani acest timp de viață pentru că era singurul mod în care puteam fi o mamă bună. Nu, I had a full-time career in banking and international finance and as a computer programmer while raising children. Știți că aveam o carieră cu normă întreagă în sistemul bancar și informațional, informatic, în timp ce aveam și copii de discurs. Living this lifestyle allowed me to be able to cope with all of it quite beautifully. 
Și trăind acest stil de viață, am reușit să pot să fac față cu toate astea într-un mod frumos. Și nu e nimic greșit în a avea o agenda. Dar ce vă cu voi este make sure that at least in one of your meditations a week or on a regular basis that you just sit in open beingness. Dar ce vă spuneam mai devreme era să vă luați măcar o dată pe săptămână în care doar să stați cu ființa deschisă. With no agenda. Fără agenda. You're just there. Doar sunteți acolo. And see what comes. Și vedeți ce vine la voi. You know, let the thoughts go. Lăsați gândurile să plece. Be with the breath. Stați cu respirația. And just see. First of all, thank you for for the coherence that I found here. The second question was through all the Britannians. Câtă parte dintre ei uh, au experiența de a renunța de, sau, de a nu mai avea nevoie nici de a bea apă și nici de a face sex? How many of them get to a point where they don't need to drink water or have sex? <laughs> And let's give you a little update about where this is at in the world. Many, many people are transitioning. Just listening to their bodies. With all the energy that are coming in, particularly now. As people listen to their bodies. As we said, they're naturally lightening up. And because this reality is in the morphogenetic field, we've spoken to over a billion people about this possibility. That's a lot. Now, while most of those billion people think it's crazy and they're not interested, don't believe it's possible, The seed of possibility has been planted. The door of this potential reality has been opened. And so that people are aware of this. Some people, when they've read my books, and we have seven on this subject, they felt, yes, this is for me. Some people, when they've read Oh, yogi, an autobiography of a yogi with Yogananda have said, oh, yes. This feels like truth for me. Now, if you look at the Britannians, I think people have been transitioning in their own way in time. So the Germans have been transitioning in their own way in time. Obviously, working with other people's research so they're better informed. Eventually, I'd like to see a hundred books on this topic. Written by different people, not just men. And so what we have is many levels. We have like a six-level system blossoming. Și ce avem e un sistem de șase niveluri diferite care florește acum. We have level one, you could say. Avem, să zicem, nivelul 1. Of all of it's focused on the outside in eating paradigm. În care totul se focalizează pe paradigma din înăuntru, din afară spre înăuntru. It's the biggest level in our world. E nivelul cel mai extins în lumea noastră. It's the end of five people eating meat. Usually out of habit. Grandmother did, mother did, haven't really thought about it. So they continue that habit. You have people who converted to vegetarianism for kindness, compassion, health reasons. I want to tell you that I was vegetarian for motives of blindness, for care of the system. You, within that, you've had people now dropping the dairy products, all animal products, they're on vegan. You have a smaller level in there that has gone to raw. 
Jó procsatás, mert még a kolokára tudnak rá a krúdon. You have another level in there of outside in feeling through soul gazing. Unál mivel kell ezt felni, és te privire, privitől a szóra, checking the energy from the sun. Absolutely, the energy of the sun. And so that's level one. Traditional ways of nourishing the body, but it's all outside in. Mod tradicional de a fani corpul totul venit din afara înăuntru. Then you have level two. So what is level two? And these are people who are instinctually making change. Ei sunt oameni care fac schimbări în mod instinctiv. They listen to their body. Își urmează corpul. And they're just lighting up. Ascultă și își ușurează. They don't know why. And many people say to me, I don't know what's happening. I just can't do all the things I used to do on this level. So these are the people we call that are unconsciously transitioning. And all they need is education. Just to say, don't worry, it's okay. It's like the parents with the child on the plane. Many, many, many young ones like this. They're wired differently. Their DNA is different. Everything's different. They don't need this game. Then the next level are people consciously transitioning. And then the people have heard of this reality, it feels right, they're preparing their bodies, they're checking their prana percentage, they're changing their lifestyle. Sunt oameni care au auzit despre această realitate și își verifică procentajul branic, își pregătesc corpul, schimbă modul de viață. Then we have another level, level four. Și apoi nivelul patru. And we'll come back to those. La asta vom reveni. We have another level five. Apoi nivelul cinci. And these are the people, the majority of the 55,000. Unde se află majoritatea celor 5-5 de mii care trăiesc cu prana. Call themselves liquidarians. Ei se numesc liquidariani. All their vitamins and nourishment come from prana, but they still choose to drink. Ei spun doar că vitaminele a prana vine din prana, dar aleg să consume liquide. May or may not be that. Poate au sau nu nevoie. But they like it. Dar le place. It's their little social connection. Este mica lor conexiune socială. And they may enjoy the pleasure of flavor that way. Și poate le place plăcerea gustului așa. Level 6. Nivelul 6. Are what you call or others call the true breatharian. Sunt cei așa numiți adevărații breatharian. Adevărații oameni care trăiesc cu prana. Never eat, never drink. Care niciodată nu consumă care sunt. Their bodies are converted. Lichide, corpurile s-au transformat. They're comfortable with that conversion. Se simt foarte confortabil. But they're very few. Dar sunt foarte puțini. No, I've met very few. Eu am întâlnit foarte puțini. Most people after playing there. For example, my body has the same capability, but I find it too extreme. De exemplu, corpul meu are această abilitate, dar mi se pare prea extrem. While I do it every year, fac asta în fiecare an. It's not an energy I want to stay in. Dar nu este o energie care vreau să stau permanent. One of the reasons is is too much creativity. Pentru unul din motive care So people when they're in that level, and even level five, they start to feel like too much. All the multi-dimensional beingness, huge levels of creativity. And so many people in level six drop back to level five. And so many people in level six drop back to level five. And so many people in level six drop back to level five. And so many people in level six drop back to level five. And so many people in level six drop back to level five. And so many people in level five drop back to level five. And so many people in level six drop back to level five. And so many people in level six drop back to level five. Proven to themselves by the living of it, they have the freedom, but they find the reality too extreme. Al patru mei, este oamenii care și-au demonstrat că pot să trăiască acest timp de viață, dar li se pare că e mult prea extrem. And they become the social eaters. Și atunci devin mâncători sociali. And I have many friends, they have one small meal once a month. Și am mulți prieteni care odată pe lună mănâncă. You know, because they need it. Nu pentru că au nevoie, but they like it. Dar pentru că le face plăcere. They like once a month to connect with family and friends. Le place ca o dată pe lună să se conecteze așa cu familia și prietenii. Some of these people might have one cup of soup once a week. Unii poate o dată pe săptămână mănâncă o supă. Some take something once a year at Christmas time. Alți o dată pe an de Crăciun. 
So they would classify themselves as social eaters. Deci ei se numesc mâncătorii sociali. But what's so beautiful in level 4, 5 and 6? Dar ce atât de frumos de la nivelul 4, 5 și 6? It's because it's an individual journey. E că e o călătorie individuală. Once people have gained this freedom through the living of it. Și odată ce oamenii au trăit pe propria piele dovada că au trăit. They know it long enough. Au această libertate și au trăit o suficient de mult timp. Every cell of your being knows the truth of this. Încât fiecare celulă din ființa ta știe acest adevăr. Then people make adjustments according to their social family reality. Apoi oamenii fac anumite ajustări conform cu stilul lor familiar, realitatea socială. Years ago I met a young woman. Am întâlnit acum mulți ani în tânără. And she came up to me, she was so angry. Care a venit la mine foarte furioasă. She said, because of you, my boyfriend now lives on prana, and he's not interested in sex anymore. Second part of your question. <laughs> and for me, that's not a sign of a mature relationship. You know, in a mature relationship, if one of you makes a big life change, you discuss what's right for your partner as well as yourself. So it's true our sexual energy changes. As we've shared with you over many years, most people being nourished by prana. Majoritatea oamenilor mâniți cu prana. Dacă suntem într-o relație, we choose to share in a tantric way. Alegem să împărtășim această energie într-un mod tantric. But I would say to everybody, if you're in sexual relationship, this is something valuable to explore. Dar eu aș spune tuturor, dacă sunteți într-o relație, e un lucru valoros de explorat. To share with, in a cosmic, more tantric expression. Să aveți o exprimare mai tantrică și cosmică. Your sexual energy. A energiei voastre sexuale. It's very different. E foarte diferit. It's a wonderful gift for yourself and your partner. E un cadou minunat pentru tine și partener. So, people's energy changes. Deci, energiile oamenilor se schimbă. And I think you'll find at this point in our evolution, și vreau să vezi că acum, în evoluția noastră, it is a time more of fluidity, flexibility and freedom. E vremea pentru fluiditate, flexibilitate și libertate. As the holy ones have said to me, și cum au spus și sfinții, you can be just as addicted to not eating as people are to eating. Poți să fii la fel de dependent de faptul de a nu mânca pe cum sunt alții de a mânca. And it's not a time of addiction. It's a time of freedom of addictions. It's not my time of dependence, but it's a liberal independence. Okay. Yes. If we are fed by prana, is it solar light, or is it an inner light we have? So then, people who live in dark rooms, what are they being fed on? Yeah. What light? Um, because uh, many of you have been with me in many gatherings, and you've heard many of these answers. For our new ones, everything we've ever been asked, every question we've ever been asked about this reality is in our book, The Prana Program, that is in Romanian. Pentru toți cei noi, fiecare întrebare care ni s-a pus vreodată despre acest mod de viață e în programul Prana, care e tradus în România. How we are nourished, our lineage. Dar uite cum suntem noi hrăniți. I'm Zip. Deschidem fermoarul. Ta-da! Ta-da! So you don't need solar light. How many of you do solar gazing? Because it's a boy who watches the sky with the sun. Who watches the sky with the sun? I do it because I like it. Yo faka sa pe tu ka plac. And we talk about this in the book, The Food of Gods, that was in Romania. Si vorbim cu nasa de un carte afrana zeilor care e în Romania. It's a lovely practice. Yo practic ca minunata. When I'm at home, I rise with the sunset, the sunrise. 
Când sunt acasă, mă trezesc la răsărit. And I love to spend this time receiving solar energies through my eyes. I enjoy it. Și îmi place să petrec timpul acela primind energie de la soare. And it's like icing on a cake. Prin ochi și e ca și topicul pe o prăjitură. It's a nice layer, but it's not the cake. E un strat foarte bun, dar nu e prăjitura în sine. This is one of the reasons we do dark room every year. De aceea face predagere în tuneric. To show people that without any external light stimulation, ca să le arătăm oamenilor că fără nicio stimulare de lumină externă, enter into dark room healthy and strong. Intrăm în dark room sănătos și puternic. Removing physical light, physical food. Și scoatem, eliminăm lumina. We can come out of dark room stronger. Și mâncarea fizică și putem ieși mai puternici din tunelă. Și oamenii nici măcar nu slăbesc fizic acum. Și asta e frumos. E o dovadă. Că altceva ne hrănește. I like to remind people that the true source of your nourishment comes from your body of light. We've had that meditation yesterday. And if you just spend a few moments every day in the unzipped nature, you'll set up a mental reality of acknowledgement of where nourishment comes from instead of this game. Fiecare zi, făcând această meditație în care deschizi fermoarul, o să stabilești o nouă conștientizare mentală, să știi exact de unde te hrănești în loc de acest joc. The more time you spend in your unzipped nature, your body of light, the more you realize that this is just pleasure. Și cu cât petreci mai mult timp în natura ta desfăcută, cu atât realizezi mai mult că acest joc de a mânca e doar un joc de plăcere. Da. Da? You wanted to add. O altă întrebare. Since we have these cycles of energy loading, a few days before we see different lights, yellow, blue, and we know something will come. And we have a trampoline in our feet. Also, earthquakes. Most of us have the symptoms. All the senses, the superior senses, are really well activated. Maybe for ill or older people, we have pain in our skeleton. Bone pain. I've been through radiation by medical mistake. Maybe I have a harder skin. Many of the people I know have this when this energy change occurs. I don't even know there has been a radiation or a stolen flare. This year it was so powerful that even the color of my flowers in the garden has changed. So what I want to say is our body is adapting hardly, even if we work with it and we master the body. And the body is not listening when you're saying I love you. The body is saying I don't believe you. Is this only for me, because I could not accept me after my disability? But this is something that many other women have. Women who judge themselves as being fat or old. We all have this problem, the body does not listen to us. So you said yesterday that we can replace the love. As a vibration, you the vibration of appreciation. So when I say to my body, I appreciate you for this and that, it works for me better. Yeah. 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 Because sometimes it's like my my love source inside is getting dry. But when I appreciate myself, it works. So I have a different 
calcification of my body, maybe due to my mental problems, with my skeleton being affected, and my neurological system being affected. Can you just hold a minute? I would ask that a moment. Yeah. It's just that I didn't give you the microphone, so not everyone can hear you. Okay, so I just want to add a few things. Okay. What's your name again? Maria, of course. You know, Maria was saying that uh, many, many people are feeling um, all the energy changes that are happening on the earth or through their bodies as well. And we talked yesterday about people having different levels of pain. We wanted to add a few things. You know, when your light body is blossoming, as it is now, if your physical body is not balanced, and in alignment with how the physical, how the light body wants to blossom, you can feel physical pain, and all levels of your body can be affected. What's so beautiful is you can test this with your breath. We're going to go on shortly about the true beloved energy, which is actually one of the major releases from the body of light. Vom continua imediat cu energia iubitului adevărat, care una dintre eliberările majore de energie din corpul de lumină. And what Maria was saying is very important with this too. Da, și ce spunea Maria e foarte important acum. She was saying that we can often be guided to say to the body structure, I love you, I love you, I love you, but it's not responding. Ea spunea că putem fi ghidați să spunem structurii corpului, te iubesc, te iubesc, te iubesc și el să nu-ți răspundă. So, she's changed that. Că nu ce i-am schimbat asta. Now, she just tells her body how much she pre- și spune corpului cât de mult îl apreciază. And the body is responding. Și corpul răspunde. And as she went into some of our programs, și în timp ce a făcut unul dintre programele noastre, especially as women, mai ales ca femei, I'd like to give you an exercise. Vreau să vă dau un exercițiu. And you know, the ones of you, whether this is right for you. Și veți ști dacă e potrivit pentru voi. In the coming times, în vremurile care vin, I would like you just to ask yourself, aș vrea să vă întrebați pe voi, before action, înainte să acționați, if I really loved myself, dacă eu m-aș iubi cu adevărat, really love myself, chiar că m-aș iubi cu adevărat, what would I do? Ce aș face? Not what should I do? Nu ce ar trebui să fac? But if I really, really love myself, dar dacă mă aș iubi cu adevărat, from that divine, I love you, I love you, I love you, din acel te iubesc, te iubesc, te iubesc divin, what would I do? Ce aș face? What choice would I make now? Ce aș alege acum? And this is so important for women because of our limited conditioning. Și atât de important pentru femei datorită condiționărilor pe care le avem. We are told to love ourselves. Ni se spune să ne iubim. There are exercises. You stand fully naked in front of a mirror. Sunt exerciții. Stai complet goală în fața oglinzii. And say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Și spui, te iubesc, te iubesc, te iubesc. And many women, when they do that, we just see the faults. Și multe femei când fac exerciții își văd doar defectele. So the words have no truth. Deci cuvintele nu au adevăr în ele. Because you can't, you don't feel convinced. Pentru că tu nu ești convinsă. But the words of power are important. Și cuvintele de putere sunt importante. And can you change them as Maria did? Și le poți schimba așa cum a făcut Maria. For example, can you say, De exemplu, poți spune, As I do. Așa cum zic eu. As you know, I'm nearly 60 years old. Știți că am aproape 60 de ani. Things look different to how they did. When I was 20 or 40, corpul arată diferit decât la 20 sau 40. I'm not a skinny model. Nu mai nu sunt un fotomodel. I'm more shapely. Am alte forme. I stand in the mirror. Mă uit în oglindă. And I say a truth my body can accept. Și spun adevăr corpul meu poate o adevăr pe care corpul poate aștepta. I can say. Poți să-i spun. You know, Jazz. Știi, ea spune. You are really beautiful. Chiar ești frumoasă for a renaissance woman.
Now, Renaissance woman is curvier. They paint Renaissance women with a little cellulite. That was considered beautiful. Yeah? No? So I can honestly stand in front of the mirror naked and say, ah, you are beautiful for a Renaissance woman. <laughs> then my body believes it. That's nice. Positive reinforcement. Yeah. So with our women here, deci cu femeile de aici, now I would like you to take time and just as you move through life in this coming period while fulfilling responsibilities ask yourself if I do really, really love myself would I do this? Or what would my action be? And some people suggest you do this for a year. It's an exercise to train yourself to really treat yourself well. If I really, really love myself, would I take that second slice of cheesecake? Or whatever. If I really, really love myself, would I follow the call of my heart? And this is so important right now, that we follow the call of the heart. Because the heart call, the singing heart, aligns us back to our true nature as well. And I know you have so much to share. Christiana, would you like to add something? Yeah. Can you repeat it in Romanian so people can hear it? Or English? So, about the relationships and true beloved, uh, with, as I change my life, different patients can come to me. With any change, different uh, themes in my therapy sessions. So lately, many people uh, without, uh, without a partner or uh, problems in relationships, asking what's happening. And as I watch, I see them coming from beautiful systems like Lemuria or other higher realms. And also from experiences of monkhood, like Jasmuhin said. The first category is looking for the perfect sharing like they had there. The powerful, the perfect sharing of higher realms with no problems, no troubles. So they get confused here about what's going on in this realm of reality. The second category, the monks or others. Of course, they are afraid of human attachment. So they don't get fully into that true beloved affair. So what I feel to share from my experience and others is that they, we are here for the joy of having relationships, those who, those who choose that. Just to add the layer of joy to what we choose to do with our partners. Not really getting in relationships for healing or balancing energies anymore. Many people confuse the need as I was sharing with a friend the other day. Uh, the need of balancing energy, they confuse it to physical or soul attraction. There is no need to get into that kind of relationship if you are conscious. 
Și noi nevoie să intri în acel gen de relație dacă ești conștient. We can just make the statement to go into relationship for putem, joy. Putem pur și simplu să facem declarația să intrăm într-o relație de, pentru bucurie. That changes the patterns of the people we attract. Și asta schimbă tiparul oamenilor pe care îi vom atrage. And I wanted to check with you if this is true. Și am să vezi cum e la care. You know, I find our questions and the, the things people have are always beautiful lead-ins for things. I know some of you are getting tired and before we meditate, we'll get you moving a bit. But let's discuss just for a moment as an introduction this true beloved energy. As, as Christiane shared, many people are imprinted with an understanding of the true beloved energy being available. Și știu că e disponibilă energia asta a iubitului adevărat. And as we mentioned yesterday, unfortunately, we often transfer that to physical partners. Și cum spuneam ieri, din nefericire, de multe ori transferăm cunoașterea asta la un partener fizic. You see that with women all around the world, they're waiting for the perfect mate to make them happy. Vedeți asta la femei în jurul planetei, așteaptă partenerul perfect să le facă fericite. When in understanding with esoteric teaching is we are our own perfect mate. Dar când înțelegi învățătura ezoterică, știi că tu ești partenerul tău perfect. People say to me that my life will be complete when I find the perfect mate. Perechea perfectă. Oamenii îmi spun viața mea o să fie completă. I don't want anyone. Eu nu vreau ca nimeni. I want my perfect soul mate. Nu vreau pe nimeni, eu vreau sufletul meu perfect. And the Divine Mother shares very clearly. Și Mama Divină spune foarte clar. Everyone is a perfect soul mate. Oricine este sufletul tău perechi e perfect. Everyone. Orice om. But the most perfect soul mate we have da. is that true beloved we carry. Cel mai perfect suflet perechi pe care îl ai este acel iubit pe care îl porți înăuntru. So when we go into this meditation, <coughs> și când intrăm în meditația următoare, everything I share, tot ce vă spun, when I travel this world, când călătoresc în lume, it's not from books, nu vine din cărți. It's from my own experience in life. Și din experiența mea de viață. Where I've come to a point where I've just gone help. Unde am ajuns într-un loc în care am zis ajutor. What do I do here? Ce fac aici? And information, wisdom, tools, techniques have come. I've applied them. Works in my life. Share it with others. Works in their lives. Și au venit informații, instrumente, tehnici pe care le-am luat, le-am aplicat, le-am împărtășit și cu alții. A funcționat și pentru ei și pentru mine. And with this true beloved meditation, și cu meditația asta, iubitul meu adevărat, there's a few things we want you to play with in it. Sunt câteva lucruri cu care am vrea să vă jucați voi. As some of you know, cum unii știți, at the end of last year, la finalul anului trecut, when I left Romania, când am plecat din România, and I came home, și am ajuns acasă, I was doing my weightlifting. I have a reality that if I'm going to travel the world on my own and carrying heavy suitcases, I need to be strong. Am o realitate în care îmi spun, dacă eu călătoresc singură și îmi car valizele peste tot, trebuie să fac mușchi puternici. It makes sense, yeah? Are sens, nu? As I was lifting weights, și mă sărăt și ridicam greutăți, Warrior woman, femeie războinic, I ripped a muscle, îmi am întins un mușchi. I could hear the tender stretching. Te am auzit tendonele cum se întind. I ignored it. Am ignorat asta. I decided to paint my kitchen. Am hotărât să-mi dobrăvesc bucătăria. Three coats of white. Trei găleți de alb. Trei straturi de alb. It looked fabulous. Arăta minunat. Even though my arm was damaged. Chiar dacă brațul mi-era rănit. Ignored the pain. Am ignorat dorerea. Ignored the body. Am ignorat corpul. Painted my kitchen. Mi-am pictat bucătăria. It looked wonderful. Arăta minunat. I decided to paint my bathroom. M-am hotărât să-mi zubrăvesc baia. Three coats of white. Trei straturi de alb. When I finished. Când am terminat. My arm decided to no longer work. Brațul meu am hotărât să nu mai lucrez, să mai funcționez. It went on strike. I felt in trouble. When I talked to it, she got up for me. Kuyen. It said, "Why do you give me all this work?" I said, "The chin bad, the monk. You never give lefty any work." Lusting, I don't have any chance to name it. 
You only ever give Raiji me work. Dar îi dai doar lui drept, adică mie. I'm sick of it. Am săturat. I'm on strike. Sunt în greva. It showed me images of 20 years going like this on a computer, downloading 38 books. 20 de ani făcând așa pe calculator, downloading două, trei, șapte de cărți pe care le-am scris. Work, work, work. Muncă, muncă, muncă. What was Lefty doing? Și stângă ce făcea? Nada. Nimic. It showed me images of dragging all around the world heavy suitcases. Yeah, that that image of Mugram on the roof of Valise de Grele. You know, running through airports to catch planes. I had to fly from airport to plane to plane. Stretching out all the muscles. So it is in those muscles. What was Lefty doing? She's doing what she does. Nada. Nimic. So, Righty, she dragged him. Went on strike. I got the Grele. Righty said, "I'm not working anymore." Drept a zis, eu nu mai lucrez. You give Lefty the work. Dă-i muncă a lui Stângu. And when you're in balance, și când ești în echilibru, strong again, din nou puternică, left as strong as right, și Stângu la fel ca și drept de puternic, I'll work again. Voi lucra și el din nou. Isn't that nice? Nu-i frumos? Nothing I did could fix it. Nimic din ce am făcut n-a putut să-l repare. No acupuncture. Nici acupunctura. No energy work. Nici munca energetică. Consciousness going, no, I'm on strike. Conștiința spunea, da, sunt în greu. You give lefty the work. Dă-i lui stângul treaba. And it was wonderful. Și-a fost minunat. My husband had been telling me this for years, but I wasn't listening. Sățul meu îmi spunea asta de ani de zile, dar nu am ascultat. He was saying, you know, it's really interesting how the body feels when you're ambidextric. E în răsfârșit, știi, e foarte interesant cum se simte corpul când ești ambidextru. When your left is as strong as your right. Când stânga e la fel de puternică ca și dreapta. How many of you are right-handed people? Câți dintre voi sunteți dreptate aici? You've probably got a bit of an imbalance. Probabil că aveți un pic dezechilibru. Ok. So you need to listen to your body. Trebuie să-l ascultați corpul. I recommend that you give Lefty some more work. Eu recomand să-i dați stângul lui niște muncă. Because when your light body is blossoming, pentru că atunci când vă înflorește corpul de lumină, if you are out of balance on any level, dacă ai un dezechilibru la orice nivel, you feel it as pain. O să-l simți ca durere. So I had energies that were out of balance. De eu am avut energii care erau dezechilibrate. Just from the living of life. Doar din felul în care trăiam. I was in Thailand this year. Ia am mutat în Thailand, am finishing dark room retreats. La sfârșitul retragerii în tunel. And there was an energy worker there. Și era muncă om om care lucra cu energia acolo. A visionary. Care văză tot? He looked at my body. Să uită la corpul meu. And he went. Și mi-a zis: "Oh! Oh! Hey! Durere?" Yes, but I can help you. Poți să te ajut. Even though my body is in now. Chiar dacă corpul meu a zis, nu? It just wants to rest. Vreau doar să se relaxeze. I thought, oh, fabulous. Și eu am gândit, wow, ce bine. Ok. Foarte bine. Check with my breath. All right. Am venit cu respirația. Da. So, he's doing this energy work. Și eu am vrut făcea muncă energetică. And saying, have you looked at your emotional body? Și ne-a spus, stai, dar la corpul tău emoțional? Hai, eu. Nu-mi zic, da, da. This is just physical. Da, asta e doar fizic. This one is going on strike. This one needs to be stronger. Asta e în greu, asta trebuie să ne întăresc. But I was starting to just work with words of power. Și tocmai începeam să lucrez cu cuvinte de putere. Just asking the physical body to let go of this little ch that was causing pain here. Și îi ceream corpului fizic să renunțe la ceea ce cauza durerea aici. And nothing is happening. Și nimic nu se întâmplă. How many of you have instructed your body to do something and nothing's changed? Câți dintre voi i-ați spus corpului să facă ceva și nu s-a întâmplat nimic? Anyone? Oricine? Yeah, me too. Și eu. And so obviously the the words weren't right. Deci, mod evident, cuvintele nu erau potrivite. Something wasn't connecting. Ceva nu se conecta. No matter what I said, come on, body, let it go. I'm tired of this pain. I promise I'll be in balance. În diferit ce spuneam, corpule, hai, lasă asta. Am săturat de durere, promit că o să mă echilibrez. Body said, well, you're not yet. Corpul spunea că nu ești. You need to make this strong. Trebuie să ne întărești pe asta. But as I was on the massage table. Dar când stăteam pe masă de masaj. I just kept working with words. Lucram cu cuvinte. And it's so interesting. Și așa e interesant. I started to use the words. Am început să folosesc cuvintele. I exist. Eu exist. In Christ stood. În Hristos. Waters. În ape hristice. I felt a vibration. Am simțit o vibrație. 
You know then those words are important. Și atunci știi că acele cuvinte sunt importante pentru tine. I exist. Eu exist. In Christ and in Ave Light and Lumina Christica. Vibrate. More important words. Alte cuvinte importante. I exist. Eu exist. In Christ and Light and Lumina Christica. Și a fost eliberarea vulcanică. Atâta iubire. Jumătate de oră. Valuri după valuri, după valuri din energia iubitului adevărat. Cu aceste cuvinte. Eu sunt iubitul adevărat. Prin mine. Totul e vindecat. Totul e vindecat. Totul e lumină, totul e iubire. Atât de puternic. Și dacă ar fi fost pentru mine, dacă a funcționat pentru mine, poate funcționa și pentru voi. De ce nu? Pentru unii dintre voi, nu. Nu vi se potrivește acum. Dar pentru unii, da. And as we've worked with this meditation this year, with our groups, with diverse groups, it's been so interesting. I was quite interested. That as people have played with this meditation and these words of power, the majority of our audiences, the majority of our audiences, have felt strong vibrational shifts in their bodies. 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 Bărbații, say my heart was healed. Care au spus mi-a fost vindecată inima. A new energy flooded through it. O energie nouă a inundat-o. It felt so right. Am simțit că atât de potrivit. Some people, alții, in Germany, în Germania, as Maria said, cum spunea Maria, they couldn't relate to the words. Nu puteau să fac să se raporteze la cuvinte. They don't like the word Christed. Nu le place cuvântul Christos. People from Imprints with Catholicism may not like the word Christed. Women can now imprint the religious, the modern, the Catholic. People began to change the words. I prefer the word Christic. I exist. I exist. In. In. Or you could put as. Sau. Or you could put in. Sau. It's different. Sau ca și. And instead of Christed. Și în loc de Christic. Some people will use the words. Essence. What I saw in this release was this is the state of the true Breatharian. I recommend you practice this in the bath. In a body of water. A lake, a river. Or the bath. And when you're floating, și că plutiți. You're aligning with the words I exist in Christed waters. Vă alineați cu cuvintele exist în ape cristice. All the fluid of your body. Și toate fluidele corpului. Back to the Christed waters. Se întorc înapoi în apele cristice. How many of you have seen Masuro and Mocho's work? Câți dintre voi ați văzut bucă lui Masaru e Moto? You've seen what happens when you put words of power to water. Ați văzut ce se întâmplă când pui cuvinte puternice în apă. The majority of the human body is water. Și majoritatea corpului uman e apă. We are water. Suntem apă. Primarily. What happens? În mod esențial, ce se întâmplă? If you really command. Când poruncești. As a truth. Ca un adevăr. I exist. Eu exist. In Christed waters. În ape cristice. Just letting your body let go. Și să-ți lași corpul să te drum. The fluid of your body. Toate fluidele corpului. The blood. Sângele. The cerebral spinal fluid. Lichidul ceva la aidea. The endocrine system. Sistemul endocrine. All the fluid in your body. Toate fluidele corpului. Telling it to let go, to drop into the Christed waters. Să le spui să-și dă drumul, să se scurgă în apele hristice. Infusing all the fluid of your body. Se îmbibă cu toate fluidele corpului. With this Christed frequency. Această frecvență cristică. It's interesting. 
What if you then just command every cell of your body, every part of your body, to drop into the Christ of Light? Și cum ar fi ca atunci să comanzi fiecare celule și fiecare fiecare părți din tine să stea în lumina Hristică? Slack of this reality. Să dea drumul între realități. Drop. Să dea drumul. Back into the Christ of Light. Să apoi în lumina Hristică. Or the light of pure essence. Sau lumina esenței pure. What happens when you command all the structure of the human form? Și ce se întâmplă cum porcești tot întregii structuri fizice? To drop back. Să dea drumul. Into the ocean of Christ of Love. În apoi în oceanul iubirii Hristice. What happens? Ce se întâmplă? What could happen? Ce s-ar putea întâmpla? Would it stimulate the release in your body of light of the true beloved? Ar stimula eliberarea iubitului adevărat în corpul tău de lumină? Maybe. Poate. For some of you today. Pentru unii poate azi. Maybe not for a month or two. Poate nu pentru încă vreo lună două. Maybe not for a year. Poate vreaz un an. Everything frequency matches. Totul e până se potrivesc frecvențele. So when we go into this meditation, și când vom face această meditație, there's three words not to change. Sunt trei cuvinte pe care să nu le schimbați. Waters, ape, light, lumină, and love. Și iubire. But when you call them Christed, dar dacă le spui că sunt cristice, essence, sau ale esenței, it's up to you. E alegerea voastră. So we're going to play with these words of power in this meditation. Ne vom juca în meditație cu aceste cuvinte de putere. Let's see how your system responds. Și să vedem cum îți răspunde sistemul tău. And how I use them since that time. Și cum le folosesc eu de atunci încoace. It's any time I'm feeling destabilization of the flows of energy in our world. De când eu simt că mi se se destabilizează fluxul de energie în lumea noastră. I just bring myself to that field. Mă duc din nou în acest câmp care e adevărat. Prin ceea ce eu o numesc mantra hristică. Atât de repede. Identificare cu lumea exterioară. Sinele uman. Și reidentificare rapidă cu natura adevărată. E rapid. Pentru unii. Dacă sunteți gata. Okay. Yes, you want to add that we should have a quick. How could I understand if that lake is not just water; it has different colors, like rainbow colors? Yeah. That's interesting to feel in your meditation. It's interesting to see that meditation. Yeah. I don't get it. How can I interpret the colors? Okay. One thing, when we're in deep meditation, un lucru important, când suntem profund de meditație, remember it's your revelation. Amintiți-vă că sunt revelații de voastră personale. It's your journey. E călătoria ta. So when something's happening in meditation, deci dacă ți se întâmplă ceva în meditație, and you're not sure, și nu ești sigur, ask. Întreabă acolo. I want clarification. Vreau clarificare. These colors are coming. Culorile astea vin. What's their symbology? Ce simbolizează ele? For example, in the morning meditation. De exemplu, meditația de dimineață. A woman said to me, she got scared. She closed down. Mi-a spus o femeie că s-a speriat și s-a închis. She said she didn't realize she was such a vast, multi-dimensional being. Mi-a zis că nu realizați de înainte că e o ființă atât de vastă și multidimensională. Suddenly, with the awareness of that. Și dintr-o dată cu conștiința acelui lucru. She got frightened. S-a speriat. So she stopped the meditation. She opened meditation. But as you know, dar așa cum știți, just one drop, o singură picătură, of our vast consciousness exists in this form. Din conștiința noastră vastă există în această formă. So this morning's meditation, deci meditația de dimineață, was just allowing of a greater awareness of all the other ways we express ourselves. Permitea doar să avem o conștientizare mai mare a tuturor celorlalte moduri în care noi ne exprimăm. So most of you know the significance of color. Și acum majoritatea The green of the healing light, the violet of the fire of transformation, violet flacăra transformării, and the spiritual ray of freedom. Și răza libertății. You know the orange color symbolizing devotion. Portocaliu e răza devoțiunii. Every color has significance. Fiecare culoare are simbolism. But that's also in the old system. Dar și asta e în sistemele vechi de credință. In the new system, it's different. În sistemul nou e ceva diferit. So when you're meditating, deci când tu meditezi, something comes. 
ceva vine? Clarificare. De ce e culoarea asta bună? Ce înseamnă pentru mine? Now, in our meditation, we're going to let the group essence guide us in different ways, in a, so there'll be more in this meditation. In meditația noastră, we're going to let the essence of the group essence guide us in different ways, so there'll be more in this meditation. We'll see what needs to come. Vom vedea ce vine la suprafață. We'll probably be our final meditation in our gathering. We'll see. Poate va fi ultima noastră meditație.